Here's how to create AI voices with emotion that sound just like this. <laughs> so I'm sitting there, right? And the squirrel just stares at me like I owed it rent. Don't worry. According to the calculations, everything is perfectly under control. Stand back. <laughs> this video is about to get legendary. With Eleven Labs, you can create any AI voice you need simply by describing what you want your voice to sound like with voice design. To get started, you can click the first link in the description down below. Inside of Eleven Labs, all we want to do is click on voices and then click on create or clone a voice and then select voice design. Now using voice design, here we can create any AI voice we like simply by describing it and we can be very broad or we can get quite specific. Mentioning things like age, gender, tone and accent have a huge impact on the sound of your voice and we'll put a bunch of other criteria on screen right now that you can also include into your voice prompts to give you more inspiration. So we could go ahead and type something simple like voice for a fun pink Yeti and then click generate. Hey there little fluffs, it's me, your favorite pink Yeti. <laughs> and as you can see, we have a voice for a fun pink Yeti and there's three different options to choose from. But if we go back here, we could enter a prompt that has a little bit more detail to it. So an older woman with a thick Southern accent, she is sweet and sarcastic. And this time we click generate. Well, bless your heart. I reckon I've seen it all, honey. You know, back in my day. And so as you can see, now we've got a voice that matches our prompt perfectly and we can go and preview the other two. Well, bless your heart. It's just wonderful to Well, bless your heart. It's just And now here we go ahead and select our favorite. So I click voice one as it's my favorite. And then we can click select voice. And here we simply have to name our voice and then describe it. And then we make sure we choose the language because you can generate voices for a bunch of different languages. Here I just select English. And then I'm gonna leave the description as the prompt we use to generate the voice. And I click save voice. And now the great thing with Eleven Labs is that all of our voices are then saved to the voice library. So this means we can go ahead and use all of the voices we create with all of Eleven Labs AI audio tools. And so now if I wanted to generate the AI voiceover and the AI text-to-speech full of emotion, whether that's laughing, happy, sad, crying, whatever it is you're looking for, we can go to the text-to-speech tool. Here, I want to make sure that I go to the model 11v3. Remember, this is the type of voice that we created earlier with Voice Design v3. And these are the voices that allow for the most expression and emotion. And then here, I'm going to go and search for the voice that we just made. So I did Alex southern accent and now i select it and here i can type whatever i want in i've typed in something very simple hello youtube how are you doing today and let's click generate hello youtube how are you doing today as you can see we've got an ai text-to-speech voiceover however you might be thinking well it doesn't sound like it's full of emotion it sounds realistic but it's lacking maybe a little bit of energy maybe we want the person that's saying this to be really excited or to laugh well this is where we can use audio tags to add an audio tag all we want to do is add square brackets and between the square brackets, put the word that we want to use to guide the delivery of the text to speech. So for example, at the beginning, when we say, hey, YouTube, I want uh, my character to be excited. And then maybe between YouTube and how are you doing today, we could have laugh or we could deliver the line with a little giggle. And then at the end, who knows, we could even direct the AI to cough. And so now we've got three different audio tags. And if we click generate. Hello, YouTube. How are you doing today? And so as you can see, we've now got the same line delivered with a lot more emotion. And we can go and swap this out for anything we like. So instead of excited, we could even put sad. And then here we could type in something like pause, and then we could just remove this at the end. And now if we click generate. Hello, YouTube. How are you doing today? And so now, as you can see, the line is delivered with a lot more sadness within it. And so that's how to create AI voiceovers with emotion and deliver expressiveness, whether that's happy, sad, laughing in your text to speech. And so if you want to try it out for yourself, click the first link in the description down below to create expressive and AI voices full of emotion. And if you have any questions, let us know in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more, please hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.